we have only 10% of our people accessing electricity. And that rate means that we also have very few companies accessing the electricity. We also have challenges in attracting new investment because then people would say there's no power in Malawi, why should we go to Malawi? One of the major issues that uh, was handled during this reform program was a review of the legal framework. And honestly, I think from this point, we have seen some tremendous changes. And where government is creating space to have private sector contribute to the investments in the energy sector. Ejenko is the generation company for the country. With the age of this power station Kula A, it had become so challenging to sustain it. The country started experiencing power shortages, which required investment in the generation. But as a country, we couldn't do that. The previous the electricity law that was there could also not allow private investment in the electricity generation sector. We are happy that we have modern substations. We are happy that we have systems that will transmit our power. One of the constraints that ESCOM has in the past few years is the issue of uh, degradation of the environment along the catchment area. These weeds were causing problems in terms of the generation because they were clogging the, the generation system. And now, upstream, the harvesters are able to harvest the weeds, so they can't come down, downstream. The system helps to improve power. The SCADA system presents to the control center real-time information. Because of this, decisions are made faster. So we're very grateful for the support that we've received from the American government. The impact of this program is so huge. And with this, we believe that in the future, Malawi stands to benefit in its economy, that we create employment, we have the industries up and running and producing in their full capacity. Mm -hmm.